My name is Lucas, and today I want to talk to you about a recent shoot that I had and talk to you about my experience shooting that music video. So it was a very small music video. It wasn't anything fancy. We just had a warehouse and a car, the artist, and I had Andre, which is a great filmmaker, helping me out. And we made something that looked pretty good because we didn't have a lot to show for. The warehouse is very empty. We shot that music video very close, very focused mainly into the artist itself so that it wouldn't highlight so much of the space because it didn't have anything. We try and place him in front of the car as much as we could in different ways. We tried to create a little narrative of him kind of like driving in and then performing. We really just had to be as creative as we had as we could we were planning the shots as we were filming we had a couple of ideas of using the ronin to create some rolling effects and place that against the wheel and against the, the artist and try to work around a little bit of lighting that we had so in the beginning we were using daylight so we placed the artist right in front of the door and then the car inside so we had some depth between where he was and where the car was which was really nice visually uh something else that we did as well we we had access to water which was great and then we just throw water all over the floor uh so he gave us this nice looking imagery it makes it a little more interesting when you can kind of see the reflection of the car luckily i had this massive shower curtain that we just use as a diffuser uh that worked out really well give it a nice soft lighting onto the artist but yeah it was pretty cool shit it was very straightforward uh it was only half a day so we we're only there four hours and we literally got everything we needed you really comes to show how much you can do with so little and as long as you're creative and you're bouncing ideas back and forward and you're not afraid to just try things out a lot of the takes that we did it didn't end up on the shoot because it just didn't come across as well but we weren't sitting around thinking too much we were just shooting as much as we could and kind of coming up with things in the spot we had a little bit of problems in terms of codex for some reason the camera changed codex I, I probably messed up the settings to be honest. We shot in a log profile and some of the shots were done on the GH5. So we had to match that a little bit, which turned out pretty good. I use a custom LUT that I have that I'm really happy with that I use for most of my work, possibly using here right now something that we did as well for this music video that was quite interesting we added a lot of effects i like using effects and music videos is the perfect excuse to use a lot of effects uh but we use in screen effects we use green screen effects a little bit try to mess around and do things for real but also leave some stuff for post which is very interesting that's it um yeah i just wanted to share a little bit because i feel like we did a really decent job in a very small amount of time i delivered this music video within two days after the shoot and the client seemed pretty happy about it overall it turned out really great if the music video is out by the time i post this video it's going to be the first link in the description other than that thank you for watching and i'll see you next week